Mustang is out. We're underway. He raced number one for Santan Ford IMC Modifieds. Zach Madrid will be the race leader in a turn number one as Roy Minks follows him in that second spot. David Spriggs washed up the racetrack. Bell went four wide there with Schloppen, Irvin, and Brewster as Brian Brewster, your pole sitter, falls all the way back to the seventh spot. He's going to fall all the way back to dead last on the field here as Zach Madrid leads lap number one. One car spins on the wall hard as Brett Schlopp in the 71S. We stay green. He'll take the car off track. No, he'll come to a stop. Caution flag will fly. So, Beaver Stripes yellow flag. And Brian Brewster running in the eighth spot. Green flag is in the air. We're back underway. Seven laps to go here in heat race. Number one, for and Dan Ford. I see the highs. And Madrid going to drive away for Roy Meeks as Don Irvin looks at the inside of Spriggs. He'll clear him off a of turn number two. Here comes Spriggs. He'll fight back to the inside. That's battle for third on the track. They go into turn number three. Irvin up top. Spriggs down low. Spriggs washes up the track. He might lose the spot down to 3L. Tom Lucas. Lucas down the inside of Spriggs in the 5B as Irvin looks inside of Roy Meeks for second. They go side by side for that second spot off of turn number two. Meeks, he'll come back and around and clear the one X of Don Irvin as Tom Lucas once again puts the pressure on the 5P of Spriggs. It's going to be Madrid, Meeks, Urban, Spriggs, and Lucas, your top fives. They work their way to turn number one. Zach Madrid, he's drifted out to about a seven car length advantage. Or Roy Meeks, who comes off a turn or two very high on the racetrack. That allowed Don Urban to close the gap. He's going to look to the inside now on the five of Meeks. Urban, though, going to wash up track. Here comes Spriggs right back to his back bumper up a turn number four. As Meeks drives away from Urban, now it's a three car battle for that third spot. As Spriggs and Lucas are right there. Lucas got a little squirrely and turns one and two that time. So it's going to be a two car battle now between Urban and Spriggs. The 5P of Spriggs look to the inside of the 1X of Urban. Urban, they're going to hang on to it off a of turn number four. It's Urban still being scored in that third spot, followed by the 5P of Spriggs in fourth. Tom Lucas in fifth. Out front, no change outside of the gap. The gap is getting smaller now as Zach Madrid, he is your race leader. Roy Meeks, though, he has closed it for what was a seven car lead advantage down to a four car lead advantage that took last time by down the back straightaway. So you see Meeks picking up the speed here, lighting the wick on his race car. Did be a little loose right there off a of turn number two as Zach Madrid will drive away. Talked to Meeks earlier, of course, on the front straightaway as we celebrated the 2020 champions as White Flag flies. He was happy he won the championship last year but wanted to win a main event. Just could not beat those five M of Zach Madrid, he said. And here he is once again right now playing bridesmaid to Zach Madrid as they work their way off a of turn number four. Madrid will win heat race number one for the Modifieds. Followed by Meeks, Urban, Spriggs, and Lucas. Rounds out your top five. Coming home in six will be Jason George and seven with Ryan Brewster. Brent Schlaufen with the DNF. Along with the 0-2 of Kobe Lamase. Green flag is in the air. Jacob Pace and Spencer Wilson lead him into turn number one. And a little door banging right there between Pace and Wilson. Give the top spot to Pace as Wilson going to try to fight back now. He'll pull up the back bumper after going side by side with Jimmy Mills for that third spot. Now it's Wilson down the inside of Pace as they work their way through turns three and four. Who will lead lap number one? It will be the 18K in Pace. But Spencer Wilson right there on the back bumper. He's going to look to the inside. Here comes Jimmy Mills in the 16. But will be Wilson in Pace side by side as Chad Stevens whoops it around in turn number one. See if he gets the car refired or not as Jacob Pace still shows away over Spencer Wilson. Wilson. It will be a yellow flag for Chad Stevens. Duke it out side by side. Door banging on that first initial start as we go green once again. We'll see what happens here between Wilson and Pace as they go into turn number one. Spencer Wilson down low. Going to leave a little bit of gap between himself and Pace as Jimmy Mills about lost a lot of power off a of turn or two. That allowed Ryan Roth to close with his backside. Had to get on the binders there. So they worked their way off a of turn or four. It's going to be Pace and Wilson still running one, two, followed by Mills, Roth, Roth, and Whistler now in that fifth spot as Spencer Wilson looks to the inside of Jacob Pace once again. Pace though with a slight advantage off a of turn number two. So they worked their way down the back straightaway. Wilson going to look to the inside, trying to use that middle groove as Pace uses the higher groove. Pace actually slams the door at him just a bit through three and four. Takes away the line of the 75C of Wilson drive out of Bismarck, North Dakota, trying to work his way around. Jacob Pace, Pace though still hanging on to us. That time Wilson was side by side off a of turn number two. Now it's about a half car length of as just Pace has. They worked their way through three and four. Whistler back there throwing a slide job at Ryan Roth. Roth goes back to the crossover. That's a battle for fourth on the racetrack as they go into turn number one. Whistler now to the outside. Easton Whistler to the outside of Roth. Now he's going to look inside of Roth. They work off a of two down the back straightaway. That's a battle for fourth.
fourth on the racetrack. Right now it's the Rhino. Ryan Roth who has that spot as they work off a of turn number four. Whistler now to the outside. Roth can't quite complete the pass as Roth slides up the racetrack to shut off his momentum. Now Whistler drops the nose down the inside of Roth. He about lost it. Now Whistler and Roth almost simultaneous spin out. Whistler actually helped Roth get back going in the right direction off a of turn number two. But it's going to be Whistler who loses two spots to Miley into Meeks. So a battle for fourth right now running in the seventh spot is Eston Whistler. He's out front, no change. Still Jacob Pace right now pacing the field over Spencer Wilson, that 75. And Wilson, not for lack of trying, he is throwing everything he has at the 18K of pace as the white flag flies. For those two drivers, they work their way off of turn number two down the back straightaway. Two car links the advantage now. Pace has over Wilson as they come through three and four one final time. Miley goes around in turn number two. Checker flag will fly. It will be Pace, Wilson, and Mills. Your top three. Ryan Roth comes home in fourth. Doug Meeks fifth. And Eston Whistler comes home in sixth. They're in the 23. As green flag flies, final heat race is underway. And Terry Hay will lead the field off of turn number two. No, he won't. Kelly Johnson going to rip around the top side of the racetrack. He'll take over the top spot. Now here comes Brenda Kirby in the 5K. Brenda Kirby to the outside of Terry Hay as they're slicing and dicing back behind them for fourth on back as it will be Johnson leading lap number one, followed by Kirby in second. Then they're side by side for the third spot with Sean Stacey the inside the M22. Mission22.com entry, taking over that third spot from Terry Haven. And right now, a rocket ship out of Tucson, Arizona, the 520. Honey almost ran out of brakes right there, the 520 at Tellus. He worked all the way up to that fifth spot, and then comes off a of turn number four, slapped the wall. Now here he is driving in hard once again to turn number one. About lost it after he got in the back of Terry Haven that time. So from fifth all the way back to the final spot on the racetrack in eighth goes the 520 of Jesse Tellus as Johnson, Kirby, Stacy, and Gronk here right now. Your top three, another side by side for fourth. Roy Poling has it in the 2X. He's on the inside of the racetrack. Going to be followed by Jesse Patterson in the 118. As Patterson and Haven now go side by side for the sixth position. It's Haven outside of the black number 23. The 118 of Patterson, that blue car down low. Here comes Jesse Tellis fighting back, mixing a three car battle, six on back. So they work off a of four. Top five spaced out, but sixth, seventh, and eighth right now running nose to tail on the racetrack, doing some beating and banging as Patterson will drive away from Terry Haven now. It will be Haven and Tellis duking out for that seventh spot. Tellis goes topside over Haven. He'll take over that position. So Terry Haven, who started this race on the pole now sees himself dead last in eighth. I think something might be wrong with that car. See him go very slow down the back straight or down the front straightaway, down the bottoms of turns one and two. As Tell is about lost it off of turn number two that time. Is out front. It's still Kelly Johnson showing the way. As Sean Stacy now closed the gap on the 5K of Brenda Kirby. They race their way down the back straightaway into turn number three. Once more, Sean Stacy trying to get a run on the 5K. Kirby has the white flag flies for Johnson. Johnson leads him into turn number one. Stacy about lost it off of turn number four. Almost collected the fence. Past the strike. As Kirby will drive away from Stacy. They're all chasing the 93 of Kelly Johnson. He'll go through three and four. One final time. I'm here in the heat race action for your Santan Ford IMC Modifieds. Checkered flag in the air. He'll win. Heat race number three, followed by Kirby and Stacy. Fourth, Chuck Gronke holding off the run from Roy Poling in the 2X. Comes home in fifth, followed by Patterson and Tellez.